morning everybody it's minus one uh, I'm stood in a field or by a field um, down on the Kent coast and out this morning looking for short-eared owls I've got the old uh, big monster 500 mil lens um, the light's not great there's a beautiful sunrise coming up over there um, but it's a bit uh, a bit obscured by cloud um, so the light isn't great um, but I'm here an area I've been coming to for several years which in the winter gets some shorted owls coming over the, the North Sea and they frequent around this area before they move on to other areas. Um, back a few weeks ago they had four or five moving around. Um, I was here last night and I've got some nice photos from last night which I'll show you. The light was beautiful but I wasn't because I didn't plan to film and that's where the birds are so I thought I'd come down this morning and they tend to move. Um, shorted owls do move during the day so uh, fingers crossed we'll get something. Um, give you a little idea where we are. Um, you can see um, this is a field that they use a lot. Um, they tend to roost miles away over there and the great reason, uh, one of the reasons this place is so good for shorted owls is um, there's very few footpaths that um, intersect the fields and so forth so even though they do hop over the roads etc um, uh, when they're actually hunting they don't get disturbed by dog walkers and things like that. So but I'll swing you around and we've got bit of a sunrise it's not not exactly earth shattering but some nice got some nice sky um, it's certainly just below freezing there's a little bit of frost on the grass but not much um, but I'm going to try and give it a bit here and the idea is uh, the idea of this video project which I, I did do some vlogs four or five vlogs and they take a lot of time and so forth but I wanted to do uh, I think we need a theme um, to justify doing them and why I want to do them anyway and um, for me it's as much a record about things that I'm um, photographing um, and what I'm going to do is a series of vlogs where I'm no more than an hour from home I love going to Scotland, I'm off to Scotland in a few weeks time and, but I think for a lot of people who can't get out it might be quite interesting to see wherever you live in the UK you, um, within an hour's radius of where you live uh, what can you maybe photograph so it's a good challenge for me as well because the temptation is always to go further um, anyway let's sit here and um, hopefully fingers crossed we'll uh, we'll get a short eared owl up here in the next uh, in the next half an hour or so and even if we don't we've got a fantastic fantastic place to be Um, we just had a beautiful fly past of a short-eared owl. Um, it came from right over by the seawall and then came towards me and it, it looked like it was going to be perfect and it was backlit. Just the shot I've been trying to get is a backlit shot. Um, the sun's a bit bright but if, if the owl stays low you just get the, the sun filtering through its um, wings. But it just turned away and disappeared over the nearby hedge. Um, very frustrating. It's only about. It's got to be about 60 yards away, and even with my 500 mil, um, and I'll be cropping in. I get a nice sort of habitat shot, but that's uh, the joys of wildlife photography. Don't have this problem with mountains not moving. Um, fingers crossed, we'll get something more. Oof, well that was not that successful. <laughs> um, 
as with all wildlife photography, so much of a lottery, but um, I got one shot, one shot, which is a part of the way, half 50% of the way to what I'm trying to achieve with a lovely backlit shot um, with the silhouette or the light coming through the wings of a short ear. I've got bar now shots like that, but I've never been able to get a, do a good short ear down image like that. So um, back to the car. It's now been about an hour and a half, two hours. Um, sun's come up, as you can see. Um, uh, so yeah, lug this back to the car. Um, and again, again, have a look up. There's a hide further up, which sometimes gets some lovely teal and some ducks and geese and what have you, which is a good place to have a cup of coffee um, from the flask. Um, so I'm gonna lug this thing back and uh, next time any landscape photographer, including me, moans about the weight of his 24 to 70 mil lens, uh, just remember it could be worse. You could be loving, lugging this thing. sound you heard was the lapwing I was hoping to photograph and he's just lifted off and come right over my head which is very frustrating but I'm going to cut in here because the forecast was not looking great and after my time in the hide it was getting very cold so uh, and the forecast was talking about snow flurry so I decided to go back to the car uh, have my lunch and of course what happens when you go and sit in the car and have your lunch this is what happens uh, right hello everybody uh, this is what happens when you park in the car and it's too early apparently for short eared hours and this guy here you probably can't see him is on this post just here this is on my iPhone so uh, slightly stuffed um, but we shall see he's not going to say there now because the car just pulled in behind me oh that was infuriating but I so with a short eared owl taking the mickey out of me like that I decided to uh, vent my frustration by getting my boots back on and um, walking around the reserve. I didn't even take my vlogging gear, the light had really dropped, uh, there was even some snow in the air and it was getting colder and windier um, so I didn't expect too much and then I saw an owl hunting along the sea wall and to cut a long story short um, he disappeared a hundred yards in front of me. I came around the corner five minutes later and this is what uh, I had the experience of seeing. Uh, it took me about 20 minutes to work closer and closer towards him, but it was a great experience, a uh, great encounter. Uh, I hope you like the footage.
it was a beautiful encounter. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. Um, and in fact, the I checked the weather forecast that evening and the sun was meant to come back. So in the next video, so part two, I uh, came back the next morning and I managed to get some flight shots. It was a crystal clear, really frosty morning. And I came down at dawn and uh, I managed to get some flight shots of the shorted owls um, in, the, in the same location or very, very close to. Um, so I hope you can join me for that. In the meantime, enjoy photography, enjoy the wildlife and the countryside as much as you can. Uh, we need to do everything we can to protect it. And uh, I look forward to seeing you again soon. Bye for now.